everyone. My name is Kenny Wu, and I'm the program coordinator here at Wild Carnival CTSC. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today on our uh, eye health presentation. Today, we're joined by Joel, John Altman from the Hospital of Special Surgery. This presentation will be done in English and Spanish. If you want to ask any questions or you want to talk to the presenters, there's a chat function at the bottom of the screen. You can type in a question, and the presenter will answer your question during the uh, Q&A section of the presentation. Um, at the end, we will also have a short poll about today's presentation. Please fill it out if possible. Muy buenos días, mi nombre es Kenny Wu y yo soy el coordinador de programas en Wild Carnival CTSC. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes por atender nuestra presentación del día de hoy. Vamos a tener una presentación sobre eh, la salud ocular o la salud de los ojos. La presentación va a ser en inglés y español. Si tienen preguntas, en la parte de abajo hay una sección donde nos pueden enviar un chat o un mensaje. La presentadora del día de hoy es John Altman del uh, Hospital of Special Surgery. Al final, vamos a tener una encuesta sobre la presentación. Por favor, llénenla si pueden. Uh, esta presentación va a ser grabada y si quieren verla de nuevo, usted no pueden, ustedes pueden accesar a nuestra cuenta eh, o esta, nuestra página de YouTube. Okay, so hi everybody. As Kenny said, I'm Joan Altman. I'm from the Hospital for Special Surgery. I'm the RN Community Coordinator for community education at Hospital for Special Surgery. And I've worked with CTSC for a while, so I've probably seen a number of you um, over that time, or you've seen me over that time. And I look forward to this presentation because keeping our vision is so important at any age. And certainly as we age, there are a number of things we can do to be as healthy as we can be. So as Kenny said, there's going to be a survey at the end, so please fill it out and you'll see it on your screen in a little while. So the Hospital for Special Surgery, where I come from, is a specialty hospital in orthopedics and rheumatology. And we're considered number one in the nation in orthopedics and number three in rheumatology, so we're very proud of that. And as a registered nurse, I'm especially proud of the magnet recognition program that we have because that's about nursing care. Our mission is to provide the highest quality care, improve mobility, and enhance the quality of life for all. En el Hospital for Special Surgery, um, el hospital es especializado en ortopedia y reumatología. Es el número uno en ortopedia y el número tres en reumatología del país. También es parte del programa de reconocimiento Magnet por la excelencia en servicios de enfermería. Y nuestra misión es proporcionar cuidados de la más alta calidad, mejorar la movilidad y la calidad de vida para todos. So common visual problems as we age. Uh, Here is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about cataracts, dry eyes, glaucoma, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, loss of close vision, and blepharitis. Problemas de visión comunes a medida que envejecemos. Eh, esto es lo que vamos a hablar el día de hoy. Blefaritis, la glaucoma, ojos secos, pérdida de visión eh, cercana, degeneración macular, cataratas y rino, rinopatía diabética, retinopatía diabética. So, we're, I'm going to show you a few different pictures and you can tell me what, think in your own mind what you think this could be. So, so, so you say, oh, I'll let you say it in Spanish, sorry. Uh, uh, si usted ve colores diferentes a los que solía ver, ¿qué podría ser? So just look at these four things, glaucoma, cataratas, cataract, macular degeneration, degeneración macular, diabetic retinopathy, retinopatía diabetica. Which one do you think this might be? ¿Cuál es lo que piensan ustedes que puede ser? Well, it is cataracts, las cataratas. We're going to explain, I'm going to explain much more about that. Voy a explicar mucho más de eso en unos minutos. One more question. If the edges of what you see are blurred and dark, so if you see black around the edges here or around this little dog, what do you think that might be? I'll let you say it. Si los bordes de lo que usted ve está borroso u oscuro, ¿qué podría ser? And that one is glaucoma, glaucoma. 
So we're going to, vamos a hablar de todo eso más. We're going to talk more about that in a few minutes, each thing and explain it to make sense. Now it doesn't want to advance. Okay. So this is a, a short video, three minute video. Um, and I'm going to put the subtitles in Spanish. So give me one minute to, to do that. The comprehensive dilated eye. You can hear it, right, Kenny? Yes, uh, este es un video, eh, un video corto, tres minutos nada más, y los subtítulos van a estar en español en la parte de abajo. Dame un minuto y voy a cambiarlos para español. So, mommy, there is Spanish. Okay. okay, here we go. Exam. Opening the door to preventing blindness. During a comprehensive dilated eye exam, the patient receives special eye drops that dilate the pupils. Okay, sorry. I can't let people come in the waiting room. The pupils open wide, allowing the doctor to see the back of the eye clearly. With a better view of the back of the eye, the doctor can look for signs of the common eye diseases that can lead to blindness. Glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, and age-related macular degeneration. When eyes are dilated, the doctor can clearly see the retina, optic nerve, and the macula. This is the optic nerve. The doctor is looking for early signs of glaucoma. This patient's optic nerve is healthy, but here's what it would look like if it showed signs of glaucoma. The doctor will see changes in the shape or color of the optic nerve. The doctor may also see what is called cupping of the optic disc. Glaucoma is most common in African Americans over the age of 40, people over 60, and in people with a family history of glaucoma. In addition to the optic nerve, the doctor can also clearly see the retina at the back of the eye. The doctor might see signs of diabetic retinopathy. Early diabetic retinopathy starts with small red dots called microaneurysms and can progress to leaking blood vessels causing thickening of the retina and blurring of vision or new blood vessel growth that can bleed and cause blindness. If you have diabetes, you are at risk for diabetic retinopathy. While still examining the retina, the doctor can also look for signs of age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. If this patient had AMD, the doctor would see yellow spots beneath the retina, called drusen, or dark clumps of pigment. AMD is the main cause of visual impairment and blindness in older Americans. Dilation enables doctors to get a better view of the back of the eye which allows them to determine whether there are early symptoms of disease. But it's important to know that all people older than 60 need a comprehensive dilated eye exam each year and should inform their doctor right away if they begin to have problems with their sight. People at higher risk may need to have a dilated eye exam more often. Risk factors, including race, age, and family history, are all important to determine how often patients should receive a comprehensive dilated eye exam. To learn more about comprehensive dilated eye exams, common vision problems, and eye disease, visit www.nei.nih.gov forward slash healthy eyes. Okay, we're going to talk more about the video as we go forward, but right now we're going to talk about glaucoma. Vamos a hablar sobre la glaucoma. So what is glaucoma? So it's, as the video said, it's damage to the eye's optic nerve. ¿Qué es el glaucoma? Es el daño al nervio óptico del ojo. And what happens is that, as you'll see from this side view of the eye, the pressure increases in the eye, and it presses on what we just saw in the video, the optic nerve. 
eh, esta es una imagen eh, del ojo en la parte de al lado. Y lo que pasa es que ocurre cuando se eleva la presión ocular. So, this is what you might see when you have glaucoma. We saw the little dog. This would be normal vision, and this would be vision with glaucoma. Or here's looking out of a window in a car, a windshield, and this is normal vision. And then with glaucoma, you see dark on the edges or around the middle. Ajá, eh, la imagen del, del perrito. Eh, en la izquierda es visión normal, y en la derecha es visión con glaucoma. Y la, la imagen con el carro, en la izquierda es visión con glaucoma y en la derecha es visión normal. So what happens is you lose the peripheral vision on the sides or, ton or vision all around, which is called tunnel vision. Y lo que pasa es que eh, hay una pérdida de visión periférica o visión lateral, la, vis la visión de los ojos, eh, de los lados, y también hay un desarrollo de la visión en túnel. Eh, solo ahí eh, se tiene la, la visión directa de frente. So, there are two types of glaucoma. The first type is called open angle glaucoma, which is slow progression of vision loss. It happens over a long time, and it's the most common. Hay dos tipos de glaucoma. La primera, eh, ángulo abierto, es una lenta progresión de la pérdida de la visión durante un periodo de tiempo prolongado, y es el más común. And then the other type, closed angle, it happens very quickly. From, could happen over the course of hours, and all of a sudden your vision changes and it's very painful. If that happens, you should go to the emergency room and see a doctor immediately. Y la segunda es ángulo cerrado y es pérdida visual que ocurre repentinamente y es dolorosa. Eh, busque atención médica de inmediato si le pasa a usted. So what are the kinds of treatments that we see with glaucoma? Well, initially, early treatment can delay the progression of the disease, but does not improve eyesight loss. And this is true of a lot of the diseases we're going to talk about. You can stop the progression, but whatever you've already lost, in this case, the black around the edges or the tunnel vision is not going to come back. ¿Cuáles son los tratamientos para glaucoma? Eh, el tratamiento precoz puede retrasar la progresión de la enfermedad, pero no mejora la pérdida de la visión. Y esto también eh, con otras enfermedades de los ojos usualmente pasa. So some of the options are, I think a lot of us might know someone with glaucoma. So if we do, uh, many people use drops, like in this picture. But there's also pills, sometimes laser surgery, if there's too much fluid in the eye, so it puts too much pressure, and also conventional surgery. So these are the options. Generally, eye drops are effective. ¿Y cuáles son las opciones de tratamiento? Gotas oculares, que es el más común, píldoras, píldoras o medicina, cirugía con láser, uh, se drena líquido uh, al dilatar la malla del, dentro del ojo, o la cirugía co convencional, y se realiza un or nuevo orificio para drenar el líquido. So what do you do? You're going to hear this over and over, and it's true. Get your eyes examined regularly. It fully dilated where your pupil gets large, like in the video, eye exam. ¿Y qué deben hacer ustedes? Uh, es importante hace, hacerse un examen de los ojos con regularidad, uh, especialmente con las pupilas dilatadas. So, before age 40, every two to four years. 40 to 54, every one to three years. From 55 to 64, every one to two years, and after the age of 65, every six to 12 months. Generally once a year, but sometimes if something's going on, you need to go every six months. ¿Y cuántas veces hay que examinarse los ojos? Antes de los 40, cada dos a cuatro años. Desde los 40 hasta los 54, cada uno a tres años. Desde los 55 a los 64, cada uno a dos años, y después de los 65, de 6 a 12 meses. 
Este examen debe ser realizado por un oftalmólogo, quien dilatará sus ojos para poder visualizar todas las áreas del ojo. The best prevention is early detection. So what, when in the video you saw the difference of what the doctor can see in the back of your eye, and the reason to get these exams regularly is so that if you get, we just talked about glaucoma, and glaucoma can be stopped by treatment, but the vision you've lost will not come back. So that means if you don't get checked out, you may lose more vision. Eh, es importante hacerse eh, un examen de los ojos porque uno puede parar eh, problemas como la glaucoma o otras enfermedades de los ojos tempranamente. Okay, now we're going to talk about cataracts, cataratas. So what do you see if you have cataracts? You might see changed colors like we saw, so this, this is normal vision, and this is the colors change over time because your vision changes. Or like the little girl we saw earlier, her, she looks more cloudy and has much less color. Y como, ¿qué ves si tiene cataratas? Dos ejemplos aquí. Puede que vea colores cambiados, o en la parte de abajo también, ¿no? Eh, un poco más oscuro, y los colores también cambian. And here's another example where you see blurred vision. So this is normal vision. And here's what can happen with cataracts, blurred vision. Y el segundo ejemplo puede tener una visión borrosa en la parte de la izquierda, eh, la visión normal en la parte de la, derecha, de la derecha, visión borrosa. So what may others see if you have cataracts? Well, it's possible that your eye might look like this one but generally your eyes might look normal to other people. ¿Y qué pueden ver los demás si uno tiene catarata? Puede que eh, se vea como la parte de la, eh, el ojo en la izquierda o puede que los ojos luzcan normales para los demás. So, what is a cataract? So, a cataract, um, this is a view of the eye from the side and here are the lenses. And um, look at the difference between the clear lens on the left and the cloudy or grayish lens on the right. Eh, esta es una imagen de nuestro ojo desde un lado. Uh, eh, vamos a ver la diferencia entre un cristalino claro en la imagen de la izquierda y uno con una catarata en la derecha. So over time, our lenses change. They get dark and light can't come through. They also get hard and less elastic. So that's why as we age, we can't see close anymore. We have to hold things farther and farther away to be able to read them. But we'll talk more about that later. When the lens is so dark like this one, it makes sense that the colors change and that we can't see as well. Con el paso del tiempo, el cristalino cambia. Se pone más oscuro y la luz no penetra. También se pone más duro y menos elástico o flexible. Esa es una de las razones por la cual no podemos ver de cerca cuando envejecemos y necesitamos usar lentes o gafas. Cuando el cristalino se convierte tan oscuro como en la imagen de la derecha, uh, tiene sentido que el color cambie y no podamos ver bien. And that's why cataract surgery is usually almost always such a great success. Because when this lens is removed and a new clear lens gets inserted, all of a sudden we can see really well. And I bet a lot of you know people or maybe you've had cataract surgery yourself. Sometimes we don't even realize how bad our vision got because it took so long over years and years and years for our vision to change. And then one day to the next, we can see well again with surgery. Por esa razón, la cirugía de cataratas uh, son un gran éxito, porque el cristalino se remueve y, es uno, y uno nuevo es insertado, ¿no? Uh, con este nuevo cristalino podemos ver bien. A veces no nos damos cuenta que estamos perdiendo la visión, porque esto toma mucho, mucho tiempo. So, if anybody here knows it, if you have had cataract surgery yourself, or you know anybody who's had cataract surgery, and you have anything you want to say about it, you can put a note about that in the chat and we'll get to that at the end because we'll definitely have time to hear from you specifically at the end. 
Uh, si conocen a alguien que ha tenido cirugía de catarata, muchas veces las personas no pueden creer que también pueden, uh, pueden ver. Um, si tienen alguna experiencia con cataratas o con cirugía, eh, en los ojos, por favor envíenos un mensaje en el chat. So what causes cataracts? Well, cataracts may be a normal part of aging, but exposure to sunlight speeds up the development of cataracts. ¿Cuál es la causa de la catarata? Lamentablemente las cataratas pueden ser una parte normal del envejecimiento. Sin embargo, la, uh, la exposición a la luz solar acelera el desarrollo de la catarata. So, wearing good sunglasses with UV protection as well as a hat that shades your eyes may help, but you still may get cataracts. Por eso, usar lentes de sol con protección, además de un sombrero que cubra los ojos cuando uh, esté en el aire libre o afuera, ¿no? So, how do you know you, if you have cataracts? Well, besides, we talked about clouded, blurred, or dim vision, faded or yellowing colors, you might also have poor night vision. So, if you're outside at night or if you drive and you're driving at night, you might not see so well. Or when you look at a street light, It may have the street light is this big, and there may be kind of a circle around it, like it's called a halo. That could be a sign of cataracts. Bright lights might hurt your eyes, and you keep on having to change your glasses. They're not strong enough. So those could be signs of cataracts. ¿Y cómo se sabe si tiene cataratas? No? Además de visión nublada, borrosa o opaca, um, también hay eh, desvanecimiento del color o ver los colores amarillentos. También pueden tener problemas con la visión eh, en la noche, ¿no? Mala visión nocturna, ver un halo alrededor de las luces o un círculo y tener sensibilidad a la luz. Y las luces la, brillantes lastiman a los ojos y también eh, el cambio frecuente de los lentes o las gafas. So, what do you do if you have cataracts? Temporarily, keep on getting, change your eyeglass prescription. Don't, you may need to stop driving at night if you drive because it might not be safe and using glasses such as magnifiers. And we say magnifiers, we're talking about the glasses you might buy in CVS or Rite Aid or Walgreens or somewhere like that, where you just buy them and put them on. Those are magnifiers. ¿Y qué se puede hacer si uno tiene cataratas? Um, opciones temporarias es cambiar la receta de los lentes o cambiar los lentes. Um, y dejar de hacer actividades que se ven afectadas por la catarata. Por ejemplo, conducir de noche o usar lentes como lupa también. So the permanent option is cataract surgery. It is the most common surgery done in the United States, and it's very effective and safe. A little incision is made, and the cloudy lens that we saw a picture of before is removed, and then a clear lens, which is made out of plastic, um, is put in. Y una opción más permanente es una cirugía de catarata. Um, es altamente exitosa, 90% de eficaz. Y es segura. Um, se hace una pequeña incisión para retirar el cristalino opaco y uno nuevo de plástico se pone. So, cataract surgery, it usually restores your vision to what it was before. And this is one of the only things that we can do as older people, some of us are older people, um, that will make us have the same, in this case, vision but other things we do to our bodies, it will, it will, will have the vision that we had when we were much younger, as an adolescent or as a young adult. Uh, con la cirugía de cataratas, en la mayoría de los casos, se restaura la visión normal a su nivel, nivel anterior. And so you won't be seeing this, this uh, blurry vision. You will be seeing the clear vision. You might be able to see without glasses after surgery because the lens they put in can be, then can correct other vision problems. Después de una cirugía de catarata, eh, uh, es posible que pueda ver sin lente, ya que el cristalino se implanta, que se implanta puede corregir otros problemas de visión. So now we're going to talk about age-related macular degeneration. 
Ahora vamos a hablar sobre la degeneración macular relacionada con la edad. So, what is it? Well, it's damage to the macula, which is needed for sharp, detailed vision. And in the video, we saw a picture of what the macula looks like. ¿Y qué es la degeneración macular? Uh, es daño a la mácula que es necesaria para una visión central nítida o detallada. And it's crucial for objects that are straight ahead, seeing those objects clearly, driving, reading. Uh, es crucial para objetos que están directamente al frente de usted, para ver objetos con claridad, o cuando uno eh, conduce un carro, o cuando está leyendo. So what does it look like if you have macular degeneration? So if you're looking at a scene, a beautiful scene like this, you might actually have a black spot in the middle. Or looking at this boy, you might see a number of black spots. Or here is a different, it's not quite so specific, it's a little more cloudy, but that would be a sign of macular degeneration. Y aquí son imágenes nada más eh, cómo se ve cuando uno tiene degeneración macular. Um, en la izquierda tenemos eh, con los eh, árboles, tenemos una visión normal. En la derecha es visión con una degeneración macular, ¿no? En la parte de abajo también es lo mismo. Eh, puntos negros. So if you see anything like this, you should definitely go to the doctor right away. Si ves algo así, hay que ir a ver el médico lo más pronto posible. So, what do we do about it? What are the risk factors? What are the causes? Well, a cause is being over 60 years of age. We can't control that. We can't get younger, even though many of us might want to. But there are other things that do affect this that we can, that we can control. Smoking. Most older people don't smoke, but if you do, do your best to stop. High blood pressure. This is something that if we control, decreases our risk for macular degeneration. Obesity. Now, lots of people have macular degeneration who are very thin, but obesity is a risk factor. If we eat a diet high in saturated fats, this should say, sorry, or simple carbs, which is white sugar, white flour, white rice, things like that, that aren't complex carbohydrates, which we talk more about in healthy eating, and lack of exercises. So these are things that increase our risk. But some people have none of these things, and they still get age-related macular degeneration. ¿Y cuáles son las causas de la degeneración macular? Um, la causa más común es la edad, ¿no? Más de 60 años. Y en la parte de abajo son factores que aumentan el riesgo. Uh, por ejemplo, fumar, la presión arterial alta, obesidad, una dieta alta en grasas o grasas no saturadas y carbohidratos simples y la falta, y la falta de ejercicio. Eh, hay personas que también tienen degeneración macular que no tienen ninguno de estos problemas, que no tienen ninguno de estos riesgos. So what's the best prevention? Yearly? Dilated eye exams can detect age-related macular degeneration. So, um, yeah, why don't we just say that? Vamos a decir eso en español. ¿Cuál es la mejor prevención? De nuevo, como con las cataratas, los exámenes oculares anuales con pupila dilatada. Pueden prevenir. Okay, so the early treatments, what do we do at first? A principio, we get those magnifying glasses to see better and getting eye exams, which we already said. So, opciones de tratamiento, etapa temprano, las lupas. But the intermediate stage, your doctor might give, say, take some supplements. And that could be vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, copper, or beta carotene. And then in advanced stage, they actually put injections in your eye or laser surgery. Eh, opciones de tratamiento en etapa in intermedia, suplementos, ¿no? Consulte con su, eh, su médico antes de comenzar la vitamina C, la vitamina E, zinc, cobre o el betacaroteno. Y en etapa avanzada, inyecciones o tratamientos con cirugía láser. Now we're going to talk about diabetic retinopathy. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre la retinopatía diabética. So what is it? It's the most common 
eye disease for people that have diabetes. And it is the leading cause of blindness in the United States. So most people with diabetes don't get diabetic ret retinopathy, but it's still the leading cause of blindness in the United States. ¿Qué es la retinopatía diabética? Es la enfermedad más común del ojo uh, en las personas con diabetes y es la principal causa de ceguera en los estadounidenses adultos. So it's caused by changes in the blood vessels in the retina. And in the video, we saw the blood vessels way in the back of the eye. So those can change. And in some people who have diabetic retinopathy, the blood vessels can swell and leak fluid into the eye. And in other people, abnormal new blood vessels grow on the surface of the retina. ¿Y qué, eh, qué es ocasionada por la retinopatía diabética? Eh, ocasionada por los cambios en los vasos sanguíneos de la, re, eh, de la retina, eh, como vimos en el video. Eh, en algunas de las personas con la retinopatía diabética, los vasos sanguíneos pueden inflamarse y pueden filtrar líquidos en los ojos. En otras personas, eh, los vasos sanguíneos crecen anormalmente y sobre la superficie de la retina. And the retina, as we saw in the video again, is a light sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. And without a healthy retina, we're not going to have good vision. Y la retina es un tejido sensible a la luz en la parte posterior del ojo. Una retina, retina saludable es necesaria para una buena visión. So what are the symptoms? If you do have symptoms, they might be varied and they might be similar to other diseases. So the vision could be blurry. The vision could get better and then worse. You might have darkened areas like glaucoma. Colors might change like um, cataracts, floaters, which are little black dots that you might see in your eyes, but that can be completely normal. And partial vision loss, which is never normal. So the symptoms are not that easy, not that specific. ¿Y cuáles son los síntomas de la retinopatía diabética? Eh, si usted tiene síntomas, uh, pueden ser variados. Uh, como por ejemplo, pueden tener visión borrosa, su visión puede mejorar y luego empeorar. Uh, hay zonas en los ojos que son oscurecidas. Um, hay cambio de colores. Uh, también hay uh, flotadores, pueden ser uh, normales en algunos casos. Y pérdida pa uh, parcial de la visión. So what do we do? Well, if a person has diabetes, keeping their blood sugar under control by whether they're on medications, whether they're eating healthy, keeping active, whatever way they keep their blood sugar under control, that will make it much less likely to get diabetic retinopathy. Uh, ¿Qué podemos hacer? Si usted tiene diabetes, mantenga su glucosa eh, eh, en la sangre en bajo control y tomando los medicamentos y teniendo una dieta saludable y manteniéndose activo. And also, again, 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 getting a full dilated eye exam at least once per year. Y como dijimos varias veces el día de hoy, hacerse un examen de visión completa con la dilatación de la pupila al menos una vez al año. So now we're going to talk about dry eyes and loss of close vision. So for the dry eyes, sometimes the eye doesn't produce enough tears. So we'll feel like there's almost like sand in our eyes and it feels dry. This can be painful and can also lead to loss of vision, but it can be treated. So talk to your ophthalmologist if your eyes feel dry. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre los ojos secos. A veces el ojo no produce suficientes lágrimas o las lágrimas se drenan demasiado rápido. Uh, esto puede ser doloroso e incluso puede conducir a la pérdida de la visión. Sin embargo, esto se puede tra tratar. Uh, lo mejor es ver a su oftalmólogo. Now, loss of close vision. Have you ever felt like this? Like your arm has to go way out to be able to read. This is a normal part of aging, and it often starts when we're in our 40s. The term presbyopia, which is what it's called in English, comes from the Greek word, which means old eye. And the lens become hard. So normally our lenses get smaller and, and larger so we can focus in on something small and focus out on as we look out into the horizon. 
But as we age, that lens gets hard, which is what we talked about with the cataracts. The lens gets hard and then it doesn't change. So we can't see close, we can only see far. Eh, perde visión cercana. Uh, ¿Alguna vez te has sentido así? Uh, es parte normal del envejecimiento y a menudo comienza cuando tenemos 40 años. El término previcia proviene de una palabra griega que significa ojo viejo y el cristalino o lente se vuelve duro y no podemos enfocar como lo hicimos cuando éramos jóvenes. So reading glasses, what do we do? Reading glasses may be all you need. And you can, they, they're also called magnifiers. And these you can get from your eye doctor, from an optometrist, anywhere, but you can also often just use what they sell in the pharmacies. Entonces, ¿qué debemos hacer? Uh, podemos comprar gafas o lentes de lectura. Uh, puede ser que eso es lo único que se necesite, ¿no? Eh, esto ayuda a corregir los problemas de visión de primer plano, doblando la luz antes de que entre el ojo. Okay, so the last area we're going to talk about is blepharitis. So this is an inflammation of the eyelid, and it usually starts around here where the eyelashes grow. Y ahora vamos a hablar sobre la blepharitis. ¿Qué es la blepharitis? Es una inflamación de los párpados y por lo general comienza en el área donde crecen las pestañas. It comes from a, a few different types of causes. There could be actually an infection in the eye, a bacterial infection. Dandruff, like some people have in their hair, on their head, could cause it. And also problems with the oil glands of the eyelids. I... Hay muchas causas uh, por la, para la blefaritis, uh, eh, como por ejemplo, infección bacteriana, eh, la caspa del cabello y problemas con las glándulas de aceite en los párpados. So what is done about it? What treatments? Warm compresses. If there's a bacterial infection, the doctor might prescribe antibiotics. They could be in an ointment that you put on your eye or maybe they would be a pill that you take. If the glands in the eyelids are blocked, massaging the eyelids to clean out oil, using artificial tear solutions if the eye is dry, if it's prescribed, maybe anti-dandruff shampoo that you use on your head, not, you shouldn't use it on your eyelids, but when you get rid of the dandruff on your head, if that's causing this, then it could also help your eye. Eye makeup, when you're in the middle of this kind of situation, you wouldn't, you, it's better to stop using eye makeup until it's resolved. Sometimes more complex treatments are needed. Entonces, ¿cuáles son los tratamientos para la blefaritis? Um, dependen del tipo. Se puede aplicar compresas calientes directamente en los párpados. Um, si hay una infección bacteriana, se puede recetar antibióticos. Su doctor le va a recetar antibióticos. Si las glándulas de los párpados están bloqueadas, um, masaje eh, en los párpados, ¿no? para limpiar el aceite acumulado en las glándulas del párpado, o se puede utilizar soluciones de desgarro artificial o pomadas lubricantes si se prescribe por un doctor. Um, en la parte de la caspa, se puede usar champú anticaspa con el cuero, en el cuero cabelludo y también limite o deje de usar maquillaje uh, para los ojos durante este tratamiento. Um, a veces se necesitan más tratamientos o tratamientos más complejos. So what is the most important thing we need to do to maintain healthy sight? In conclusion, ¿qué se debe hacer para tener una mantener una visión uh, ocular saludable? So these are some things that are really important and then we're going to get to the exam. Being physically active, eating a healthy diet, controlling diabetes if you have it, don't smoke wear sunglasses and a hat, wear protective eyewear. Un resumen uh, en general que puedo hacer para proteger mi visión, ¿no? Uh, mantenerse físicamente activo, comer una dieta rica en pescado y vegetales de hojas verdes, uh, controlar la diabetes si uno tiene diabetes, dejar de fumar, usar lentes de sol o un sombrero y uh, usar lentes con protección. But the most important thing we can do to protect our sight, which I don't even have to say, we don't even have to say because you've already heard it 10 times at least, but it is, you tell me, you can't tell me what is the most important. Of course, 
having regular eye, dilated eye exams at least once per year. Entonces, ¿qué es lo más importante que podemos hacer para proteger nuestra visión? Uh, díganme ustedes, ¿no? ¿Qué es lo más importante? Lo más importante es hacerse un examen regular, por lo menos una vez al año. So this is something that I have learned. I'm, I've been a registered nurse for 35 years. Yo soy enfermera registrada por 35 años. Y eso es una cosa que aprendí hace poco. This is something I've learned kind of recently. And so... Muchos de esos enfermedades no se pueden resolver completamente. Some of these eye diseases we cannot fix completely. Cataratas, sí, the cataracts we can't fix with surgery. But age-related macular degeneration and glaucoma, we cannot fix. We can stop. El, el, la glaucoma, and how do you say age-related macular degeneration, Kenny? I think we use AMD, so la AMD, eh, okay. lo que es la degeneración macular relacionada sí. con la edad. Gracias. So, esas dos no podemos curar. These are two that we cannot cure, but we can stop them. Podemos pararlos. Y eso es la razón que estamos hablando mucho de los exámenes de los ojos, and that's why we keep talking about the eye exams. Um, and diabetic retinopathy, los, los, los tres. Los, those three are the ones that we cannot fix what we've lost. No podemos reparar lo que hemos perdido. Pero lo que podemos hacer es parar la, que parar que la, la peorando de los enfermedades. What we can do is stop them from getting worse. And that's why getting a dilated eye exam every year is so important. Y por eso, importancia de hacerlo el examen dilatado de los pupiles, uh, abriendo los ojos, that the doctor can see inside, so we don't lose our vision, para que no perdimos nuestra vista. Porque eso es una cosa tan importante de la vida, the, the eye vision is, a vision is so important to our lives, so that's why we keep going over that. So, if you, um, in a minute, you're going to see a poll on your screen, va a haber una encuesta, in la, in la pantalla. And also, if you have any questions or comments, um, I don't know if there's anything in the chat because I don't think I can see the chat. But do we have any? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this was earlier and it was for the cataracts, but I think it, it applies to everything. When we have surgery, will it be better? Okay, yes. So for cataracts, surgery will um, complete if it's successful, and it's often, almost always successful, a cirugía de cataratas is casi siempre exitoso, and surgery for the cataracts almost always gives us great vision. La cirugía por los cataratas casi siempre sal, sal, salgamos con visión muy bueno y podemos ver mucho mejor que antes. Uh, Any others? I have started the poll. Uh, he yeah. comenzado la encuesta. Por favor, llénenla si puede. Eh, la encuesta está en inglés y español y va a ser anónima. Anybody have any other questions, comments, anything you'd like to know that we didn't talk about? Cualquier otra persona tiene otro um, pregunta o quiere decir algo de lo que ha pasado en la vida con los ojos o, o un comentario, puede ponerlo en el chat. Uh, can you repeat the nutrients or vitamins to take? Oh, well, the nutrients and vitamins are particularly for age-related macular degeneration. And they are examples of what we have, what we know about, but these aren't things that you should take on your own. Um, so, um, los, los, los suplementos que, ha, que he hablado, de la um, AMD, eso es un tratamiento que pueda recetar el médico. That should be something your doctor should tell you to take. So that's something to talk with your doctor about. Um, una, una dieta muy saludable, always having a healthy diet is good for your eyes and good for your body and good for your heart. Un dieta muy saludable es muy bueno por el cuerpo completo 
um, a healthy diet is good for our bodies and our hearts, but it's also and our entire bodies, but it's also good for our eyes. Si piensan tomar suplementos, lo mejor es consultar con un médico antes de comenzar. Let's see. I think we have another question. Good. So it says, I had surgery before, but the light at night time uh, bothers me. And what um, surgery before? It might have been cataract surgery. It's hard to respond. I think it was cataract, yes. Okay. Um, bueno. La persona dijo que tenía cirugía puede ser de cataratas y por la noche la luz le molesta. So the light at night bothers them. That can happen, eso puede pasar, pero yo pienso que es una cosa que debe hablar con el, el médico. That's something that can happen, but it is something to talk to your doctor about. I can't, no puedo decir nada específicamente. Um, de la encuesta de the poll, I see 18 people. Es anónimo, yo no, yo no puedo saber quién está contestándolo. 18 people have answered, it's anonymous, I can't see who. But if anybody else wants to answer, we'd be we'd appreciate it. Um, lo agradecemos si más gente quieren contestar. Okay, 19 ahora, gracias. Uh, there's another question. Uh -huh. My vision is really bad and I use contacts. Should I switch to glasses? Is one better than the other? I'll say in Spanish, uh, mm -hmm. mi visión es muy mala y yo uso contacto, lente de contactos. Uh, ¿Debería cambiar a lentes o gafas? ¿Es uno mejor que el otro? So that's a very good question. Un cuestión muy bueno. Yo uso contactos también. I use contacts also. And there's not one, contacts are not better than glasses and glasses are not better than contacts. So los contactos no son mejores de las gafas y las gafas no están mejores de los contactos. This is how well you see. If you see well with contacts and you're comfortable with them, then wear them. Si usted se siente bien y se puede ver bien con contacts, está bien, úsalo. Si se ven mejor con las gafas y se sienten bien, se usan. If you feel better with glasses and you, and you see as well, you should use them. So whatever you're comfortable with, mucha gente que usan contactos, contactos, contacts, a veces usan glasses y a veces usan contacts. Um, y eso es una decisión personal. That's your personal decision, which you like better and which you can see better with. As we age, sometimes our eyes get dry, as I talked about. Um, y cuando tenemos más años, puede ser que los ojos están secos. And that, if that happens, it's harder to use contacts. Si eso pasa, es más difícil usar los contactos. Uh, the next question, do you recommend eye correction surgery? Eh, ¿Usted recomienda cirugía para la corrección de la vista o de la visión? So I can't recommend eye correction surgery or not recommend it. Yo no puedo recomendar, recomendarlo y no, y, o no lo recomiendo. Um, this is something that you talk to your, the, the, your ophthalmologist about and decide if you're a candidate, because not everybody is a candidate, and how good your vision would be after, how long that will last, and what your doctor recommends. So es una cosa que hay que hablar con el doctor y decir que usted es un candidato por eso, porque hay gente que no pueden por cualquier razón en los ojos, eso no va a salir bien y lo, los doctores tienen que decirlo. Y, y hay gente que están muy felices con eso. I, there are a lot of people that are happy with that. Y hay gente que no están felices después. And then there's some people that aren't happy with it. So it, you have to, hay que hacer su... Um, I can investigarlo con, con los médicos y decidir si es bueno por usted. You should investigate it with your doctors and decide if it's a good thing for you to do. Um, there's another one. Um, there's a person that said uh, they sent you a chat um, message on the chat earlier before. So if you could just scroll up, you should have a message on the chat. Oh, about, um, eye surgery, yes. Oh, I don't know if I can see the chat. Okay, there's the chat. Wait. Chat. Um, yeah, when you show your screen, you see it differently. Okay. So one person, I don't know if this is the person said, my husband had cataract surgery in both eyes. Now he doesn't wear glasses anymore. I don't have an earlier one. That was from 1052. So I think no that should be a, it was related to eye surgery. Okay. 
So una persona dijo que su esposo tenía cirugía de cataratas en los dos ojos y ahora no usa gafas, no usa lentes y, puedes, y él dice que puede ver bien ahora. So my husband had cataract surgery in both eyes. Now he doesn't wear glasses anymore and he says he can see clearly now. That's great. And that's very um, common that people don't need glasses and they can see really well. Eso es una cosa que es muy común porque la cirugía de cataratas en general es muy exitoso y la persona que han tenido están felices porque no necesitan gafas, no necesitan lentes o algunos no lo necesitan y se, y se ven mucho mejor. Anything else? Any other questions or comments? I do not have any more questions, but um, thank you. So, they said thank you. <laughs> Uh -huh, thank you. Y todavía hay 20 personas que han, han contestado la encuesta. There's 20 people, 21 now, who, who, who've answered in the poll. And if anybody else wants to answer, because there's still 44 people. Somos 44 ahora. Bueno, 40, 40 y 22 han, uh, han, han hecho the la, la encuesta and 22 have done the the poll you have to scroll down on the right but it looks like people see that so that's good i think they pull up peter's right in front of them yes yeah and yeah yeah no it's right in front of me too i can see it too yeah just like that um so any other questions or comments oh um one question is your information um contact information okay so should i I don't think I can put that on the screen, but I, I can for the tell you. Chat huh? function, you could uh, chat oh, yeah. in the meeting. I'll chat it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. So, my email, why I put in my email? Altman. Come on. Uh, here's my email. Aquí es el email mío. Y ustedes pueden uh, mandarme un email um, si tienen cualquier pregunta o quieren saber más. Aquí en nuestro hospital no hacemos, no tenemos ophthalmologists. We don't have eye doctors. We don't have ophthalmologists at hospital for special surgery because we're an orthopedic hospital. Somos un hospital de ortopedia. But there are many, many great hospitals and great doctors in New York City. Hay muchos buenos hospitales que tienen doctores que hacen, que son especialistas de los ojos. There's a lot of eye specialists in other hospitals in New York. We do orthopedics and rheumatology. A lot of times people ask me that. Muchas veces la gente me preguntan, ¿Por qué estoy hablando de los ojos? I'm here talking about eye health, but we don't have ophthalmologists. Y yo explico que no tenemos um, doctores de los ojos allá en, los, en mi hospital. Anything uh, else? Just a comment. It's just uh, I, I really learned so much today about eyes, cataracts, and treatment and causes. I thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, all of you. It's a pleasure. And thank you to Kenny Wu and New York Presbyterian and CTSC. And um, I really appreciate working with all of you. So thank you. And thank you, Kenny, for doing the Spanish. Gracias a Kenny para Thank hacer you, español. We'll have Eso one more question. Just, okay. just one, one last comment, and then this will be the last one. Um, so I'll say in Spanish first, and then in English because of the question in Spanish. Uh, me descubrieron glaucoma antes de los 50 años. No tenía síntomas y ahora tengo que ver a mi uh, doctor regular. Uh, y mi especialista de glaucoma dos veces al año. So they discovered that I had glaucoma um, before I was 50. I had no symptoms, and now I have to go to my doctor um, regularly and mm -hmm. uh, specialist for glaucoma twice a year. Right. So um, that's, a, it sounds like a good story, para mí es una historia buena, because they found the glaucoma, encontraron el glaucoma, y están, yo pienso que está recibiendo tratamientos, and I think it sounds like you're getting treated for it. So your vision doesn't get worse, para que la visión no, no, se, no se pone más mal. Um, and eso es una historia buena por una persona que fue a ver los médicos muy temprano. It sounds like you went to see your eye doctor very young because you said you had no symptoms. No tenía síntomas. Y eso es una 
muy importante para que no pierda la vista. It's very important that way you didn't lose your vision and you're getting treatment. So I like hearing that, that they found it and you're getting treatments and your vision, I, it sounds like it's probably good or um, at least good enough. So es una historia buena porque está recibiendo los tratamientos y encontraron antes de pudieran uh, per, usted pidiera la vista completamente o mucho de la vista. Thank you yep. for sharing that. Gracias a decir, de, decirle. She says she uses three different eye drops now. Usa okay. tres diferentes gotas, mm -hmm. pero ayuda, yeah. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí, yeah. qué bueno. Qué bueno. La presión en el ojo, hay que quitar la presión. You have to get rid of the pressure because it, press, it, it affects the the vision very a lot so si you use three different gotas if you use three different drops and they're working that's wonderful that's very good i'm happy soy feliz y ya está recibiendo el tratamiento bueno por eso and i think that will be it okay. thank you very much joan have a good thank one you. thank you very much for uh presenting for us today um thank you very much for all of you that join us today muchas gracias por uh, sintonizar el día de hoy tengan un buen día and gracias um, gracias. for gracias. information early before a uh, link was sent out for a youtube channel um i will send that out again uh let me see allegra can you send out the link again please thank you and that's the uh, that's the presentation Yes, so the presentation, the presentation uh, was recorded. Esta presentación uh, fue grabada y la vamos a tener en nuestra página de YouTube. Okay, gracias. Hasta la próxima vez. Thank you. Until the next time.